shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is the one. But this, and beside him there is no one else. And to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength. And to love one's neighbor as himself. This is much more important than all holy burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. The gospel of the Lord. Thank you. 
Prayers of the People, Form 6. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. For all the people in their daily life and work. For our families and friends and neighbors, and for those who are around. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friends, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who claim the gospel, and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop and Santosh, our bishop, and for all bishops and other deacons and ministers. For all those who serve God in this church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. I ask for prayers for people at Crisfield, who, many of whom are still stranded. Um, they had to evacuate their homes the other night by boat. Uh, to get out of flooded areas, water is still high, and a lot of people are suffering right now. We also ask for your prayers for those who are sick. Elder, Patty, Nita, Faye, Ralph, Mike, Tony, John, Catherine, Pam, Danny, John, Tyler, Mary, Carol, Rachel, Ted, Grace, Donna, Michael, Meredith, and Betty, Kate, and also Bill Kerbin, and all people affected by the coronavirus around the world. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We give thanks for those celebrating birthdays, especially Bob Pursuter, Keith Tomlinson, and Christy Hickman, and those celebrating anniversaries, especially Mark and Amy Macchioni. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name for our brethren. We pray for all who have died, including Lucille Clough Ramsey, that they may have a place in your internal kingdom. In our diocesan cycle of prayer, we give thanks for the witness of God's people at All Hallows, Snow Hill, and their deacon and re residence, the Reverend Andrew Cropper. We ask your continued prayers for Reverend Deacon Stephanie Claydell and Lynn Wilgenin as they discern their call to holy orders. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. We put their trust, trust in you. Lord, we ask you to hear the prayers of your people and behold those from our parish and around the world in your heart. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful Lord God, God. We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways.
Um, welcome to St. Mary the Virgin. My name is Reverend Deacon Stephanie Clayville. I'm the Deacon and Reverend Residents here. Um, anyone who's new to us viewing on YouTube or on uh, Facebook, welcome. Uh, you can find information about our church and also uh, weekly bulletins at www.stmarys.pocomoke.org. Uh, uh, you can download the bulletin and also see upcoming events that we're, we'll be having. If you're not a member of the church and you'd like to become one, please call the office. Um, or if you want to make a donation, all are welcome here at St. Mary's. Um, I just have one announcement because I know there's a few other people that are going to give some updates on like the cleanup day um, and some other things we had. There's an All Saints Day celebration uh, today at 1.30 at Pitts Creek Cemetery in Pocomoke City. Um, it's a celebration just to remember those who have lost their lives or may have um, may have lost their lives in COVID and other circumstances. Uh, a few of us from St. Mary's will be there today. I'll be offering a prayer um, there as well. So if you would like to come out, all are welcome there. They did say bring a chair if you wanted to come. So, um, but I think it's going to be a lovely uh, celebration. It's in conjunction with the Presbyterian Church. So uh, we'll be doing a uh, service and fellowship together. So I think that'll be lovely. Um, the announcements are as um, marked in the um, bulletin. I also updated the website to have some of these events on the website as well. Um, I saw an insert in here for, did you want to un do an announcement on the crafts? Um, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for coming yesterday for um, Parish Work Day. Um, and sometimes you don't have as much faith as you think you have from Friday night to Saturday morning when the sun comes up and all of you came out and helped and that, that really was quite a blessing. And also we had students from Pocomoke High School that Reverend Steph reached out to and also Rebecca and Jack and Ella. They like were a team of hardcore workers that ended up moving all the things from upstairs over to the rectory for donations. So I want to thank our parish and, and our community for work day. Amen. Does anyone else have any blessings today?
Thank you so much for your blessings that we turn back to the community from our generous congregation. Amen. Well, I want to draw everybody's attention to something that's happening up in St. Peter's in Salisbury next Sunday evening. I think it's at 7. If you check their website, they're having a choral even song, which is going to be absolutely beautiful. That's going to feature, of course, their organist and music director, Daniel Cherix. And uh, the, I forget what Taylor Harvey's title is now, but he's also um, maybe an organist in residence or something like that, as well as the Coral Scholars. They started the Coral Scholars School. So I encourage everybody to attend. I don't remember what composers the, the, they were listed, but it's going to be beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully you have noticed that things are starting to look Cleaner around here and more picked up. Um, we've had the church body power wash, it's no longer green. And, um, and all the other like, white fences and the, and the rectory, and it just looks really great out there. And then all the work that was done yesterday outside and inside, especially at the parish hall. And um, beginning on Friday, the painters will be here and they'll be painting in the parish hall. Um, they'll be doing the front hallway, the big hall, and the um, side hallway that goes back towards the office, to that door, but not down that hallway. Um, so, I just, you know, COVID took a lot out of us. We didn't have, we couldn't be here, and so now we're finally starting to get things done, and um, I'm just very grateful for everybody's help, and um, I guess that's it. I just want you to, to notice and be thankful. Well, in love, His grace loved us and gave Himself for us in our offering and sacrifice to God. <clears throat>
we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name.